Okay, back again with some of the club bell basics and we are going to go over what I call the side cast. Maybe it's called something different with someone else. That's just what I refer to it as. I'll show you from the front and I'll show you from the back also so you can get a good idea of what's going on. I'm using a 15 pound club. I've been doing this a little bit so you might want to try with a five or a 10 to start. I mean, you will want to try with one of those lighter weights to start. When you're learning club bells, especially for the grip strength, we really want to make sure that our tendons and ligaments are used to going through some more dynamic uh, exercises than just with stable weights. So it's really important that we start light and kind of build up in sets before we build up in reps and build up in weight. So start light, get a ton of sets in, and that should be a really good place to start for you. So the side cast, we're gonna start again in order, and we're gonna come into this externally rotated position. I really like to keep a strong core. We don't wanna extend the back as the weight comes behind our head, which is one of the most advantageous things to using the club is that it's really important to have that core stabilization and it really gets the core firing really nicely, as well as a whole lot of shoulder strength. So I have this arm out to the side. I make a fist just to kind of close the circuit and have a lot of um, stability through that arm. And we're starting from this externally rotated position. Arm comes behind the head, again, not flaring the ribs, but keeping a really tight core in the front. Elbows coming up as high as it can. And then you're pulling straight back down to the side. So I'll inhale back, exhale, pull right back down to external rotation. From the back, this is what it looks like. Strong core. Woo. So there it is, that's the side cast. As you can see, really demanding on the grip strength, really demanding on the shoulder. We want this elbow up as high as we can get, again, without the ribs flaring. And if you noticed, the weight wasn't touching my back as we came back. So we don't want that resting back there. It should just be active. We're pulling really quick down to the side, feeling the lat fire, which is right here. You're pulling your elbow so close to the side on that, you can feel this lat engagement. What we don't want really is hips or torso shifting to accomplish that. We want that external rotation to happen purely from the shoulder, coming behind the head, pulling back down, again, getting really nice lat engagement. You should be able to feel that contraction as you squeeze the elbow super close to your side. That's the side cast, add that into your program. These are the fundamentals to some more of the more complex club belt exercises that we will get into a little bit later. Check those out, let me know how they go and enjoy. <laughs>